Hi, it's Corrine, and today I thought I'd share a fun Disney album that I made. So I just want to share with you quickly what I used. I used the Simple Story Say Cheese, the 12 by 12 basic kits, and it comes with um, these cute little bingo cards as well. I used the Simple Stories Say Cheese and Say Cheese 2. I used a lot of these papers um, and just a few out of these. They have great cut aparts in them to use. I used a few of these Snap Say Cheese. These are the 3x4 cards. And I've been doing, I've done a lot of Disney albums in my time. So I save all my scraps. So I dug into my scraps as well from different collections. Here is the mini album. It is a 6x6 mini album, and I used a tutorial, a great tutorial by my sister Scrapper. So if you've not checked out that video, I will link it in the description box below for you to check out. She uses these square envelope cards from Hobby Lobby, and they're craft envelopes. I usually make my mini albums out of cardstock simply because I don't like how thin the envelopes are but like she said in her tutorial she used these because they're not thin they're very thick and that's what I liked about them so the paper I used is also by the paper studio it's craft cardstock for the base of my album and I use the same um, hinge system that my sister scrapper uses in it which is the Kathy Orta hidden hinge system here is the back this album was a lot of work to do but the embellishment came through very quickly or came together very quickly. So for the front, I used one of these little chalkboard pieces that you can get from the $1.50 bin at Michael's. And I added some white vinyl. And then to color in the center, I used these Chocola markers that I did a video on recently. And I love how it turned out. I added a little bow. I added my own twine to it and I added a homemade enamel dot in the center. And this font is called Waltograph. I got it from dafont.com. So on the first page, these were in my scrap pile. I had little hands that I had cut out. Um, so I added those to the front. I cut this out from the paper collection. It says special event, date and name. Here is the first page and in it I have a tag that I got from the online silhouette store. I backed it with some back uh, black cardstock. Here's one of the bingo cards. It says believe, and I also added some black cardstock to the back for a photo. So photos can be placed in this pocket here, and then it flips up for more photos. Let me zoom out a little. So you can add a photo here. Here's another pocket, and I added a piece from the paper collection. Here I added a piece from the paper collection that I backed on some red and I stapled it. And then I glued it down so it looks like it's stapled to this pocket. So every page, as she shows in her video, has a pull-out mat. And these are the actual cards that come in that card with envelope set. So I added a bow with a red enamel dot. And then this slips in the top. On this side, I added a piece from the paper collection, backed it with some red cardstock and then black cardstock, add some twine around it. Another bingo card. This paper is absolutely adorable. I just bought this paper because I planned on doing a six by six and I came across her tutorial. So I thought, why not try a different style mini album? And I thought it was fun. I, I probably will make another one like this. So this I got from the online silhouette store, glued it on this tab. Here, same with this, it says best day ever. This is just the paper. Here is a tag um, from the paper collection. And I had these Mickey ears, again, in my scraps that I cut out a long time ago from the silhouette, and I glued it down to the pocket. I thought it looked cute, his little head peeking from a couple of the pockets. So on the next side, I have, this is from the, the um, manufacturer strip on the paper, so I wanted to use that and a printout that I print out and cut out from the Cameo, added an enamel dot. This is from that scrap paper that I have. It's embossed little Mickeys. Super cute. This is a card from the paper collection that I backed with black and red and made into a pocket to add a couple of the tags. This tag I cut out 
uh, from the Cameo, and then these two are from the paper collection. So those just slip back there, and then this pulls out. So all this paper here that you see is from the 12 by 12 basic collection. And on all of them, I used a circle punch. So that's what I guess what I meant is this was a lot of work. I don't have the edge punch that punches these edges. So I went through and marked them all with pencil to try and get as perfect of a cut as I could get, which I was really happy with how they turned out, and cut them all myself. So I did the craft, the black, and then the pattern paper. So on this side, it's from the paper collection. I backed it up on some chipboard, some black uh, cardstock, and some crochet twine to the pocket. This is a printout from the Cameo that I bought from the Silhouette online store. And this is a Marianne Designs bow that I got from Cut at Home. Super cute bow. So when you flip that open, this is another print and cut from my Cameo. Inside the pocket is a piece of the pattern paper. This is from the um, 3x4 snap collection. I fussy cut a heart from the paper collection, the gold heart. The red was on the paper itself. On this side, this is a print and cut from the Cameo. I added this Admit One from the paper collection that I fussy cut out. And this one pulls out, again, for more photo mats. On this side, I cut this from the paper collection. I fussy cut this ticket. And this Believe, I love this. I backed it on some red and then black cardstock and adhered it down, added a red, black bow with a yellow enamel dot. And this is also a print and cut from the Cameo. I backed it on some black cardstock, added some red satin ribbon and some more of that twine. This here is also a print and cut. It says Happy. Same with this and this. This is from the um, scrap papers that I had in my collection. And again, this is another 3x4 card from the Snap Collection. This, um, I just cut a black piece of cardstock red, added some enamel dots to make it look like Mickey's pants. Here's the back of this one. On this side, I have a piece of uh, the paper collection. I added a few enamel dots that matched and then backed it on red and black cardstock. Again, I added another Mickey's head into the pocket like he's peeking out and a bingo card. Another print and cut from the Cameo. And then this is from the paper collection. I backed it on red, then black, then red and put it on here. This is from my um, scraps. Same with this back here. This is one of the 3x4 cards. It says D is for dreams. I backed it on some black and then craft cardstock and then put another one on the back side. And here is the back side. I added a print and cut from the collection. It says Hello Magic. This adorable paper. And then another uh, fussy cut, it says special events. And then just on the back, I had a larger Mickey than the other two you saw in there. So I just glued that onto the edge or on the back page. So I hope you've enjoyed and please give me a thumbs up if you have. And thanks so much for watching. I'll have the link to my sister scrappers tutorial in the description box. Thanks for watching.